Good morning. It is coffee chat time. Um, I actually left my coffee in the other room, so we're going to chat um, while I do my makeup because I have a super busy day ahead of me and um, thought we would multitask today because I am trying to stay on track with going live and doing my coffee chats and catching everybody up. So I'm going to move this because um, I feel like it's in my way even though it's not. So it is Friday and um, it is another quiet morning here because Carter is down the shore with his friends and Matthew's already gone for the day um, at a sales appointment. And yeah, so I'm just here getting things done. Um, I have our team huddle here in like 15 minutes, so this will be a short one, but um, I um, thought I would try to get this in early. So, um, what is happening with everybody? What is going on? What's everybody doing this weekend? Tell me in the comments what your plans are. I know a lot of people around here have skipped town and headed down to the shore for not just the weekend, but for a week or two. Um, like a lot of people. It's kind of crazy how many people just jump ship, but I think this year more than ever, everybody's like, get me out of here. So, which is kind of how I feel um, and um, why I'm taking the kids on a 16 day road trip. So um, 16, 17, I don't even know how many days it is, but um, it's a lot. So we, um, and I've done this before. Uh, typically though, what I do is I um, will go um, straight through. Like I'll just drive like a crazy woman and go all the way across the country to family's house <clears throat> in like 20 hours, which is nuts, I know. But this time um, decided to sightsee along the way because um, I have flexibility and so um, just decided that that was gonna be the best case scenario. So um, we, if you don't know, so we rented a Jeep because, not like an off-road Jeep, but like a Jeep Cherokee. Um, because our air conditioner on the Armada is out and the place that I would get it fixed said that they can't get the parts in because of COVID. So, um, so we rented a Jeep. I'm picking that up tomorrow, actually. I need to let my face dry a little bit before I put my foundation on. Um, but, um, it's going to pick that up and then get it all loaded. I'm going to track all of this stuff on my TikTok, um, on my Instagram stories, and they'll feed over to my Facebook stories. I'm going to do my best to keep you guys updated on everything. But, um, you know, one of the biggest things that people always like say to me on this stuff, and I guess I just don't really think about it anymore, but they're like, aren't you afraid to travel across the country with your kids like that? And I'm like, not really. I mean, like, yeah, I, I have common sense. And so things definitely cross my mind of things that could go wrong. But, um, you know, I think the biggest thing to remember in overcoming fears, in overcoming anything in life is action. And um, if you will just take action, typically the thing that you fear or all of those scenarios that you play out in your head don't even happen. Like, they just, they don't happen. Uh, and so I think this last year we've spent so much of our lives or so many people have spent their lives living in fear of what could happen instead of just being present and living their life. And so, um, you know, we're never promised tomorrow and God knows my time on earth, whether it's today or 50 years from now. And so I can either choose to hunker down in my house and live in fear, or I can take action and live my life and create memories. And so that is what I choose to do. So um, we, uh, Matthew doesn't get to come with us on this trip, which um, for those of you that have been asking why he, um, so he works in sales. And although his job is pretty flexible, uh, we get to see him a lot. Um, he's in the heat of like the busy, busy season with his particular uh, industry, which is gutters, gutter sales. And so, um, he 
just, you know, he can't really take off. He, he, I mean, he could, but it would be dumb to take off because this is when they make the bulk of their income is during the summer. So, um, so it's just me and the kids. Uh, he's absolutely a hundred percent supportive and you know, we, we're on board together with it. Um, but so he's staying back for this trip, but he's taking off the month of December and we're spending that in Florida together. So, uh, you know, there's some give and take there, but we haven't seen our family in three years. And so it was time. Um, a lot of them don't travel. Um, we've always been the ones to travel, uh, for the most part to go back and visit family. And so if we want to see them, we have to go. So, um, and we do want to see them. I have a brand new niece and, um, I haven't seen my other nieces and nephews in three years. And so, um, so our plan is, is we're going to leave early on Monday and we're driving from here. It's, that's probably our longest driving day. It's about 10 hours. And we're going to drive to, um, the Ark Encounter in Kentucky. We've got a hotel already set up, going to stay the night. And then the next day we're going to go tour Noah's Ark, which I'm really excited about. Um, so we'll see, you know, what happens with all of that. I've seen pictures of it, but we haven't been. So, um, I'll definitely keep you guys, you know, up to date with all of that kind of stuff. So we're going to do that during the day. And then, um, later in that day, we're driving down to our friends in, um, Tennessee. They have a place called Spring Creek Hollow, which if you're looking for a getaway, um, you need to check them out. They have glamping tents and they have a working farm and it's just, it's amazing. Like they're just the best people. So we're going to go down and spend a couple of days with them. And then we are leaving there and going to Arkansas and we are going to go to the diamond mines there. It's the only working, um, or oh, only, I don't know, not, not working diamond mine, but it's the only, um, uh, place in America where you can actually go and search for diamonds and you keep what you find and there's other precious gems and stuff there too so we're actually going for two days of diamond hunting <laughs> and yes i am so geeky that i have been watching videos on exactly what to look for and um what a diamond in the rough looks like and all of this stuff and the best places to search while we're there like yeah i've been youtubing all of those videos because we've been before um, it is definitely hot, so I'm going in with some experience now, so I will be bringing our little wagon that we purchased to haul our buckets. We're bringing our own shovels instead of the foldable little shovels that you can rent. And the only thing we'll probably either rent or buy when we get there is the, um, the screens. So like you put dirt actually put gravel into the screens and you shake them and they go down through to a smaller set of screens and then you shake those and yeah so um i'm learning i'm learning all the things so um so make sure you guys tell me what your plans are for the weekend because i want to know this will be um we will be at the diamond mines um july the first through the third um i think i think what it is the first and second we will be there, and then the third, we will um, be driving up to uh, Nixa. So I actually need to look at my calendar on that. Now that I'm thinking about that, I need to double check my dates, because I leave July the 1st, drive over, spend, I don't know, I gotta look at my dates. I feel like I may have messed something up there. So I gotta look at my schedule. Um, but anyway, um, I am, excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then we're visiting family in Missouri. Um, we're still waiting to hear if Matthew can take off for July the 5th. If he can, then, um, he's actually going to fly up and spend the night of the third, the fourth and the fifth with us before he flies back to work. So, um, we're still waiting, which kind of stinks because the longer you wait, the more expensive the flights are, but, um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty good at finding those flights. So I'm hoping that I can, um, you know, snag something good. So, um, I've lost track of what I'm doing because I can't do two things at once. It's, I can do two things at once, but not this kind of thing. Like I just, it's not my forte. It is not my forte. So, um, so yeah, so we'll go to, um, Nixa the third, fourth, fifth, um, and then we will leave on the sixth and go to Oklahoma 
and I'm gonna see my brother, my both of my brothers, my sister's coming down, my mom, and um, I'm actually gonna go up to Bartlesville and see one of my friends, um, Alexis, who, <laughs> she's the girl I've told you guys about. I met on an airplane several years ago. We've stayed connected. She has six kids, and I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her since the day we met on the airplane, um, but we've stayed in contact through Facebook, which is one of the things I love about social media. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm excited to see her, and um, I haven't decided on our way home. The kids want to go and see some of the Little House on the Prairie houses because we read through several of those books this year for um, homeschool, and so they want to actually see the houses. So I know there's one in Independence, Kansas, and I know that there's one in Mansfield, um, Missouri. So, and then I thought about possibly going up to Hannibal, which I went to as a kid, and there's caves and stuff there, which if you're familiar with Mark Twain and all of that, that is where all of that is based out of. So, um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it's just going to be an adventure. And like I said, you know, you can either live your life in fear and be like, oh, I can't do that. I would get lost. I would this, I would that. Or you can just take action and, you know, what's the worst thing that can happen? You get a little bit lost and you pull up Google Maps and figure it out. So, um, and we've got roadside assistance. We've got all those types of things. So, um, I just, I choose not to look at life as something to fear, but as an adventure. So, um, follow along with that. Make sure to comment. Let me know what your plans are this week. Let me know if you have summer plans, if you're going on vacation, um, what you're gonna do. I've heard several trips down to the shore already. Well, you guys call it the beach. We call it the shore in New Jersey, but there it's known as the beach because you know, you guys are normal. <laughs> I used to get harassed when we first moved here because um, I would say we were going to the beach and they're like, it's the shore. So, fun times. Fun times. Um, hmm. What else was I going to tell you? Oh, I'm also going to be doing, so our team, actually it's our company, we have a double, like, double challenge thing going on during, during my vacation. Starts Monday and goes through July the 11th. I told you guys about it yesterday. It's a Get Fit Challenge, which we always do those Get Fit Challenges. So if you want in on that, just let me know. It's a free community. Um prizes, all that kind of stuff, motivation, and it runs for the 28th through the 11th. So it's 14 days, but the goal is to have 10 perfect days in there. So you've got like four flex days. Um, but let me know if you want into that group. It's a free group and you are not required to purchase products. I highly recommend um, that you get some of the products. We have a get fit pack, those types of things. If you really want to like hone in and focus, um, then I highly suggest getting those, but you don't have to. Um, and then our company, if you're a brand partner with us, you can actually participate in um, It's a Perfect 10, which I'm calling it the hashtag Imperfect 10 because I'm on vacation. So I don't know that I can do 10 perfect days, but I'm going to try because um, you have to get in like so much movement, so many steps, all that kind of stuff while you are, um, you know, on the road. So should be interesting. But uh, that one, you have to be a brand partner. But if you're interested in becoming a brand partner, I've got a couple things going on. First of all, you can get 10% off your first order with auto, if you set up auto ship, um, which your auto ship is super flexible. You can change the products, you can change the date it ships, all that kind of stuff. So you get 10% off your first order, which can be a lot depending on the size of your order. Second thing is I'm doing free enrollment for the first 11 people that join me because I'm finishing up Cabo. So I'm offering free enrollment. So you go to the link in my bio, hit join the team and fill out everything. Once I see that you've joined the team, Tech or text me and then I'll get a text anyway, but you can text me and say hey I joined the team I'll Venmo you 30 bucks or PayPal you or whatever to pay you back for your enrollment fee So I'm doing that But the whole purpose of doing that is that perfect 10 um, They're giving away an Apple watch. So that will be fun, too um, All right, I gotta go so if you're watching this on replay Make sure and like hit say replay and tell me what um, what you're doing this weekend what you're doing for vacation um, also drop uh, more info if you want info on the get fit challenge or on the brand partner situation or go to the link tree in my bio hit join the team or become a brand partner I can't remember which one it says and you can actually join the team and if you're one of the first 11 people to get started with me um, you have to purchase 
at least 80 points in product, which is like a box of collagen or um, like a couple different things. If you have questions, just let me know. But basically you do that, message me, say, hey, I joined the team and I'll then mail you your enrollment fee back, which saves you 30 bucks. And make sure you set up on auto ship because you get 10% off your first order too. I think that's everything. All right, I gotta go. It's time for our team huddle. Hope you guys have an amazing day.